Hi guys, it's Andre from Convey of Randomness and today I'll be reviewing this, the Seagate Game Drive for the PlayStation 4. Evolution of Games has put more emphasis on the way gameplay looks and how immersive they can make us feel. And because of this, the amount of hard drive space that games take up increases in proportion. With the recent release of the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series S Annex, the graphical prowess that developers are throwing into new games will only continue to increase, which is definitely good for the gamer and the games industry as a whole. But what about your console? As the size of the games increase, you would think that space provided as standard by the likes of Sony and Microsoft on their consoles will increase too. But that's definitely not the case, which is where external hard drives like the Seagate Game Drive really become a necessity. If you bought an 825GB PlayStation 5, only about 667GB of this is usable for games, save data and apps. If you also bought the Ultimate Edition of Spider-Man, which takes about 105GB, the new Call of Duty Cold War, which takes about 133GB, and Demon's Souls, which takes up 66GB, then after all that you're only left with about 44% of storage on your console, and that's even before you pick up the controllers to start playing. Assuming the average storage size of most games on next-gen consoles are a minimum of about 40GB each, you may be looking at being able to fit about 10 games or so on your console. And when you add PlayStation Plus and Xbox Game Pass titles into the mix, there could be potentially hundreds of games that you want to play, which means either storing some in the cloud, constantly deleting less favourable games to make space for new ones, or getting an external hard drive. This is the 2TB Seagate game drive for the PlayStation 4 that I purchased after falling into the trap of running out of space on the console. There's got to be two types of gamers when it comes to storage. The first gamer, who will install the game, play the game to the end, delete the game, then move on to the next one. Then there's the second type of gamer, like me, who will never delete games, enjoys coming back to play the classics, then runs out of space. You can actually see where the problems lie. Let me know in the comments below which gamer profile you fit into. With this in mind, an external hard drive has got to be an essential must for anyone who enjoys gaming, especially with those modern, graphically intense games, which now almost seems to be all of them. Take the rough average of about 40 gigabytes per game, with this 2TB hard drive, you're going to have the capacity to store up to about 50 small sized games. With its small streamlined form factor, lightweight portability and black aluminium with blue edging framework, you can store it around your PlayStation, plugging it into the console via one of its either 2 or 3, depending which PS4 model you have, USB ports. With it attaching via the front USB slot and essentially laying or standing next to the PS4, you may find that it detracts from the slit looking style of the console with its out of place nature. A solution that I've seen on the internet is to stick the hard drive to the top of the console with detachable Velcro strips. The game drive features USB 3.0 which will give you gaming as if the data were coming from the PlayStation's own internal drive and without the need for an external power supply like other external hard drives as the USB 3.0 provides both data transfer and power. In real world testing, I couldn't tell the difference between playing from data on the internal drive to playing from data on the Seagate. It's compatible with any generation of PlayStation 4, providing it's updated to the system software version 4.5 or higher, and it only takes a few minutes to set up. Transferring data over from the internal PS4 drive to the Seagate may take some time depending on how much data you have. So if you do have loads of data to transfer, don't be expecting to be playing quickly until everything has been transferred over. But once you have completed the transfer, as long as you've set future games and other data to be automatically saved to the Seagate, then you're all sorted and you won't notice any change from the outside anyway, in the way that it saves data. The game drive from Seagate who worked with Sony to develop this hard drive seriously works with the PlayStation console to provide you with a flawless system that makes you forget that it's an accessory working for the console when in fact it's working with the console to give you maximum performance that allows you to keep those games you enjoy playing and coming back to while at the same time being able to install new ones. I'll put links to where you can find the Seagate in the description below. The external hard drive, a must have when you buy a new console and getting the Seagate to accompany your PlayStation wouldn't be a bad choice as it's not going to break the bank and it will allow you to substantially increase your PlayStation 4 storage to your requirements while at the same time being a quiet, reliable and trusting place to store your data. 
Yes, you can open your PlayStation up and install a more costly internal drive, but if you're not looking to open up the guts of your PlayStation, then why not choose a more effective, straightforward, and easy to install external hard drive like the Seagate? If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It would greatly appreciate it, and it would really help the growth of the channel. And press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. That's all for me today. I will see you on the next one. Hi. Why don't you go and press one of these two videos before the time runs out? Three, two, one.